This video contains strong language not suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. One, two, but one, two, one, two, three. You can just take fee picks and that's it. Oh, wait, right. Right. Are we ready to go? We're ready to go right. now? Let's go. Oh, where are you going, yeah, Kendrick? Added. I was switching. I don't want to roll Kendrick's on my bed. I want to roll. What? You were frozen there for a second. Oh, uh, probably because I'm trying to get comfortable and not bother my cat who's sleeping like a little range. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> you, you can you, you can never get the around that dilemma of <laughs> owning a cat. Yeah, and I want. I be also got to make sure I can roll because I don't want to roll on my bed. I got to roll. Oh, this isn't comfortable. Roll fucking on the cat, my dear lord. No, she was already trying to like bep the fucking dice. I was like, Cleo, stop. Uh, this is rough. Okay. Well, we're so, just we're just like asleep. So if you want to start so, our uh, previous quick. Quick recap. Last, Last time, time yeah. on Dragon Six Ball dudes. Z. <laughs> uh, here, we'll, yeah, do, we'll do a hard intro. Uh, Last yeah, time on Six White Dudes, our heroes somehow survived another bugbear ambush. <laughs> the the five of you have been not quite saddled. Um, we'll, we'll recap a little further. Uh, Core is unconscious and not really going anywhere. Um, and whatever evil machine magic has continued to to spread through his body and his condition has gotten a wee bit worse over your time together um so lady cost in uh speed wow he's looking great of course walked around just fine <laughs> and um, walked around. that was perfect timing <laughs> so, so lady uh lady cost said that she, or this healing was beyond her skills and she suggested that you take him to to Corum Vor <laughs> so that he can uh, shove that bottle of champagne right up his butt. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So look at that single tear. Can you... Make sure to sing a happy birthday. Yeah, um, but yeah. So so Lady Cost suggested that you all take Core uh, over to Corum Vor and see what they can do for him in a, in a bigger, more supplied city. Um, and the mayor had gone out during this time and had. Requisitioned a wagon, a horse-drawn wagon with uh, a half-orc named Thr named Thrall and a gnome named where's your name? Uh, Maury. Maury. Morinus. <laughs> Maury. Morinus. <laughs> Maury. Uh, um, the, and these two were already on their way to Corn Four, and uh, the mayor was kind enough to square away any any transportation is, issues uh and after a quick stop over at the the longer pike inn from lami uh y'all loaded up core like a like a bag of wood and chucked him in the bag and off you went uh, traveled for most of the day came to a campsite uh made camp for the night watches went relatively smoothly a little bit of uh unspoken hostility between lithar and and thrall which the rest of you couldn't seem to you couldn't help but notice that Lithar is keeping his distance from from Thrall um, as the night shift racist because he's a bitch allegedly. there are reasons he hasn't he hasn't said that he's racist y'all are like man he just really doesn't like the guy with tusks hmm. uh, no, you guys don't know and and as the night went on uh, right around the last shift of the night uh, Thrall was on duty and out of nowhere takes an arrow to the chat or takes an arrow to the side uh which wakes up everybody the and you find out that there's a, a small small squad of bugbears that had snuck up on you in the night um and after a quick quick heated skirmish in which uh lami incinerated one and sliced the other in half uh <coughs> anybody remember what happened to uh kendrick the shot the one that i was fighting Yes. So after after the 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 rabble was dealt with, the uh, bugbear chieftain whom uh, three of you had met before, three and a half if we're counting core, because uh, he technically met him and he was still conscious, but now he's not. He's half because he's in a coma, not because he's short. Disclaimer: <laughs> I have dwarf friends. Uh, he... So was it originally three and a half men? There's only there's not even a man in the party. There's a half man in the elf, technically, because yeah, we have a half elf and a half orc. But 
Uh, I'm not a half elf. I'm a full elf. You're full elf. All right. Oh. Yeah. He's really got the really long elf. ears. Long. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Blonde hair, blue eyes, that whole bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and so after after the scrum, uh, the chieftain, who is the same chieftain from before, uh, took took his lumps and just took off into the woods. And despite your best efforts to track him down, he, he's just disappeared. You have no trail of him. Uh, so after taking a second to kind of recover and make sure that your that uh, that thrall was doing all right, um, y'all pile back into the wagon um, and take turns kind of sleeping through the day uh, to sort of get your strength back. It's not the best sleep you've ever had because you're on a wagon on a dirt road and it's noon, so it's a little bright and sunny, and you're on the rear end of two horses. But you know it's better than sleeping it's better than not sleeping um so as you guys travel along uh, you manage to cover about a third of the distance to Corinvor in this cart um and as you guys just keep on keep on kind of trundling uh who wants to be driving the wagon i'm too big to drive man um i think didn't we speed it up Maury. yeah the walls drive mm-hmm. at the end of the last session and in the last session, you guys were getting, I believe you were getting into the wagon. Yes. Uh, like you had just yes. wrapped up combat, packed up, and I were heading out. fell down. Because I was standing up, realized I couldn't see, or I was sitting down, realizing I, I couldn't see over the horses, and I had to stand up to drive. Yeah. Yeah. Mari's driving because Thrall is in the back, uh, because you were at like one, it, one, I had one HP. So yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're on like mandatory bed rest from most of the party. And like you're, you're basically just the like, flesh wound. I did one damage and took no damage the whole fight. That's a that's so. statistically a win. Yes, yeah. that, that's very good. Um, um, so a couple hours of driving. Um, give me DP or uh, Mari because you're driving. Give me a what is a proficiency? Speed check. Vehicles. Uh, give me an animal handling check. Okay, so what's that? It's a twenty plus zero. Uh, twenty plus zero because it's a wisdom throw. Also, uh, oh. wait, where uh, I rolled a two. Woohoo! Perfect. Okay. Uh, you, you're <laughs> guess you're we're losing our wagon, boys. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You're not accustomed to this sort of driving. Um, <laughs> but the horses. The horses are well behaved. Um, and so they, they, they know that they're like, cool, we're, we're in for another long day of walking. So we're just going to like keep our heads down and they're moving more at their pace than at your pace. <laughs> but every time you try to give them a little more gumption, uh, the one on the right just kind of looks over his shoulder at you, very, like somehow super condescending. You've never seen a horse <laughs> look at you condescendingly before, but this one's like, dude, what, what the hell? No shut up i'm doing this and the two of them just kind of keep on it's a nice steady trot uh nothing too nothing too rambunctious uh nothing too jostly the horses are like nah, we're gonna we're gonna do our thing but you have enough control to keep them from uh from wandering off and getting food uh long you had a question uh where are we right now like are we in a forest are we in a field like- you are you are traveling through uh, some pretty dense woods. It's an older forest mm-hmm. in between Cormvor and Longpike, which is the town you came from. Nice, yes. Uh, so on that, Long Pike's, on that, the, Long Pike's the town. Yeah, wow. that's why they had the Long Pike in. It's like the Mansfield in. Oh, yeah, Jesus. And now you have the Mansfieldier in. I mean, the longer Pike in. Mansfieldier. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so Mansfieldling. It is an. It is an old forest. Uh, very little undergrowth, a lot of big trees, uh, but there's a nice amount of, of uh, canopy and cover, so you're not sitting, you're not roasting in the sun, um, but there's still plenty of light to see by. Uh, it's very, it's pretty quiet, but uh, like with the, from the higher up trees, there's enough bird song and stuff that like it's a peaceful idea, like kind of drive mm-hmm. as, you're, as you're schlepping along. Uh, and if, uh, uh, any other questions while you guys are trucking along? Anything you want to do? Um, anything you want to talk about? Do things like I have a leather worker's tools. Is that to mm-hmm. like repair someone's leather armor? No, uh, you can you can make stuff can out of leather. You can make re- stuff. Okay, but yeah, I don't have leather, to, so I can't like make something right now. 
uh, you can see if one of your party members has leather armor. Anybody got leather armor? Is I it do. is it damaged? Did I work no. it? I don't. Do, does armor get little, damage? So, you so yeah, it like is there, is there ability? You could just so do so. Stuff. Ronan, are you are you walking alongside the cart? Um, are I you was. riding in the cart? Okay. I don't think I fit in the cart. It's, it's just, cozy. Uh, yeah. if we with, with you in the cart, uh, yeah. and you would have to like you have to sit basically in the middle directly on the axle. Otherwise, the cart is doing more of a wheelie than anybody's comfortable with, including the horses. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to like do some some like some hand working of something, it could be a personal project. You could be reworking on your if you have like wrist bracers or something like that, you can be kind of tooling around with that. So I can't like upgrade their shit or something. Um, I don't not know. With the material, not with the materials you have on hand. Um, okay. If you had more, if you had more materials and had, uh, like well, if I bought studs and they yeah, had regular could, armor, then I could try to add studs to their armor. Yeah. I would, okay. I would let you like take a stab at it. Uh, if you if you felt inclined, and that's the same for most of the most of the tools you guys have. Okay. Uh, cool. But yeah, Thank if you, you want to be tooling, tooling around with some leather or stuff, um, some people are driving. Uh, Thrall, do you want to be doing anything, or do you just want to nap? Um, I'm probably napping at this point. I don't see how I have any strength left after that kind of. <laughs> yeah, I almost died. <laughs> Did we did we do a I did long rest a lot? Um, or did we just do a short is, rest? You're doing a long rest, kind of like a on your drive. The rest of you, okay. Um, like as as we go, uh, you guys will kind of like snooze, uh, with the exception of Mari, who seems the most well off and doesn't really need much. Yeah. Right, so Brandon is thrall is healing as we're yes. going. Okay, I am yes. healing. You you'll be healed like right around lunchtime. You'll pop up. You'll eat and you'll be you'll be good to go. You've you've had tougher fights in your your soldiering past but not many There's but you've soldier. always been you've always been resilient enough to uh to bounce back um as you guys are kind of kind of trotting along you you're passing through these through these woods um and the road goes as fall it's it's relatively flat there's a couple of hills and gullies and then it takes a long winding turn into a super thick grove of evergreen trees Ooh. and it is very dark inside this little this little cluster of trees um does anyone have light i have a torch torch uh, i could light a torch do you think i should light a torch is it dark enough is it for mad dark because a, a couple uh, of us have dark vision right I those, don't. those those of you with dark vision, which might just be Lami or Lami and Lami. No, it's I, the exact I think it's opposite. everybody but Ronan. I, I don't it. have dark vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me and the Dragonborn don't have dark vision. Right. Thought because you dragons know. fly in the daylight. <laughs> Perfect. And if they need to eyes. see, they're just like, and then they can see. So those of you with dark vision, it's it just looks like a super close grove of trees um as your carts come through you see uh some deer kick up out of from the underneath the trees and the pine needles that were down there they just kick up and run off uh deeper into the forest and up or just away from the road um the fact that they're nesting pretty close to the road is unusual and shows there's not a ton of traffic through this through this chunk of the woods um everybody with dark vision uh, give me nature or perception, whichever you'd prefer. Kendrick, that's uh, probably nature. Aren't you a nature boy, Mr. Elf? Yeah, but my perception's uh, actually got a better bonus. Oh, really? Actually, if everybody, if everybody yeah, wants yeah, to make a, a... Everybody wants to make a nature check. Um, nature we'll or perception, nature whichever's higher. Or perception, whichever is higher. Mine are both I plus zero, it. so... I got, I got plus one and a plus one. And, oh yeah, perception it is. I got a fourteen total. I rolled a twelve. Okay. Uh, Fifteen total. Okay. Nineteen 11, total. Eleven for me. Okay. Uh, thrall, you said a nineteen. Nineteen total. Yet. Wow. He's the most right. perceptive. 
<laughs> he's got he's laying there with his eyes shut. He goes, <laughs> like, Manfish. So you uh throw you hear you hear something that makes you sit up from the back of the cart. Um and as you're looking around and looking, you see this as well, you catch out of the corner of your eye, it looks like a face. It looks like one of the trees coming out of one of the or one of the branches coming out of one of these Ooh, trees. That's has dope. A, has a face poking out of it. And as you turn to get both your eyes on it and get a better look, it's gone. Did you guys see that? See what? There's a face in the trees. Uh, you're imagining things. It's a wisp of cloud. <laughs> I think you're crazy. I think you're absolutely crazy. I'm just going to keep on driving my horses. Don't you mind me? I, uh... I kind of I kind of perk up a little bit from my my walking. I don't really say anything. I just walk gooder. Mm. I look at uh I look at Ronan. I said, Ronan, keep an eye on behind us. Make sure no one follows us. Got it. Uh, actually, Mari. Uh oh. Make a perception check. What is, uh -oh. what is your what is your construct? Let's let's get this out of the way real quick. What is your defender? Is that the chicken? Okay, so I no, no. My chicken, chicken, chicken is a my chi my chicken is like a clockwork toy guy that you get oh. with the the gnome the gnome subclass. Okay, so yeah, he, um, he made a mechanical chicken as a kid. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, steel defender. I kind of want him to look like the dude that I posted. Like he's like a super like rustic kind of broken down metal humanoid ish kind of okay. thing. Is so, it like so a you... little mini warforged guy? Yeah. Uh, is someone just throw something of? at you? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> abuse! I just saw something abuse. I just saw boop. That's fine. I am getting sewing projects hurled at me. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm, I'm imagining he's got like a sword and he's got a shield. But okay, so so he, a tiny he's the clockwork sword. soldier that you threw to the chat. Yeah. Okay, he's a little he's a little decrepit. He's a little broken down. Um, he kind of looks like. He, he looks a little cobbled together. Um, make a perception check for the defender, unless he's oh, got shit. a name. You can see things. So my perception is plus four for the steel uh, defender. All right. Um, it's actually so this would just be whatever, because it can see it is dark vision sixty feet and a passive perception of fourteen. Yeah, so this will just be, you don't add your modifier to it, you just roll. It's it's a straight roll, because it has plus zero on wisdom. Okay, I got a 14. Then. Okay. It's higher than mine. Expensive. Um, so, your your defender, your, your steel friend, uh, its head snaps around and is a little late looking where uh, Thrall and Lithar say the face was, but it looks and then it starts sort of looking forward and, and checking, mostly looking up into the rest of the, the boughs of these trees um, okay. as you guys are, are trotting along. Um, as you guys are going, nothing, nothing jumps out at you. Uh, you see more wildlife run across the road, um, more deer, a fox or two, nothing significant. Um, Should I, like, whip my javelin at these deer to get, like, Hide that thing I should be doing. If you want, <laughs> if, you, if you want to, you can. Uh, okay, you'd have to haul the if you unless you want to Rage. stop unless you want to stop and gut skin and just have a bloody deer pelt and carry it with you. <laughs> it's a lengthy process. Carry it with you fun. for at least another two days of travel. Uh, I guess I'll just get for now. Great. <laughs> um, Let me know when we're like a day away, and then I'll start. <laughs> Start sniping deer. Um, hey, I could do that too. Uh, like so as as you guys keep keep going along, you finally come out of this um, this pine barrow, basically, and you you the road circles back to its original path. It is running alongside this this lovely little stream, uh, and it's about judging from what sunlight you can see. Uh, it's 
probably like one o'clock ish in the afternoon. So um, thralls are, up to one hundred percent. Yeah, y'all are feeling y'all y'all are feeling a might peckish. Um and the horses are are getting a little more agitated because they see the running water and um, Do they want drink? Should we stop even and more, drink them? Even more with your your well, let's uh let's stop for animal handling. Uh you can tell they want, yeah, they're they're pulling towards the uh towards the water. Um, let's boy. stop for some drinks and catch a fish or two. Yeah. So y'all want to stop? All right. I'm going to yank my hardest on the reins, but it's going to be like pretty dang hard because I'm just a short little guy. I, I run up and grab the, the bridle of the horses and lead them towards the water. Um, while wow, they're still attached to the cart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Someone can stop part. me if they want. So, so Mari... Still in Amari the make an animal <laughs> handling check at advantage. Uh, Ronan make a regular animal handling check. But I'm proficient. I got a seven and a two, so yikes! yikes. Jesus Christ! I got an eleven. Okay, you need a new die. So <laughs> I'm using the internet right now. The internet. You need a new internet. <laughs> They shut off the internet die up. What was it they shut <coughs> off the internet AI because they discovered 4chan and learned to swear? <laughs> I think that was smarter did. child, wasn't it? Mm. So so Maury, you're you're pulling on the reins. You're like, come on, slow down, slow down. And the horse is again, the horse gives you that condescending look, and they both look back at you. And they're both like, dude, what what the fuck do you want? And then you see neither of them see this because they're both looking at you, but all of a sudden this massive hand reaches out and grabs the harness between the two horses and starts pulling them towards the water. And they're like, whoa. Oh, okay. I guess we're going this way. <laughs> and you pull the cart over to the side of the road and stop. Uh, you unhook the horses, let them kind of graze a little bit, have a quick drink of water and give them, give them a little bit of time to, to rest themselves. Uh, does anyone want to do anything in the probably 30 minutes to an hour you guys will be stopped or are there fish are we are we, are we, are we in a stream do you said do i see any do i see any fish in this water um how deep does the water me, look um uh, you can't see the bottom but that might be because of some silt and just agitation because the horses have been kind of kicking <laughs> stuff kicking stuff up wait so um, we're on a path right are we are you, is you there are forest on, on both sides yeah like correct. a road is there forest on both sides correct you, you're like you're still in the thick of the forest. There's just like a forest. There's like a pretty significant uh, creek. I don't know what's bigger, a creek or a stream. Okay, um, but a pretty so, significant body of water is next to you. Okay, it's running parallel so I'm, to the road. I'm, I'm gonna look at Ronan, and I'm gonna say, "Would you like to go hunting with me? But if you do, you have to be quiet, giant man." I will try. I, I would play. like that, little friend. <laughs> I'm going to start some fish. Start start fish in the river. Before we go, can I attach one end of my rope to one of my javelins? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Sorry, now would be a great time. Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mr. Big Man. Something what is it? The exchange. One? <laughs> I don't think we actually exchanged each other's names. Yeah. But... I'm Ronan. I see one of your javelins. Sure, here. And I chuck it at the side of the wagon and it sticks in and goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I meant. But oh, I sorry. I'm still in the wagon. We have this for a little bit. So, so the javelin, as it comes flying, it, it punches through. And uh, Thrall, you were you had kind of sat up because you were getting ready to like, hop out of the wagon and stretch your legs a little bit. Uh, and the javelin goes right through where your head was probably a minute ago and is tickling the side of Kor's face. <laughs> all, you, hear, you hear that it's making like a metallic scraping sound when it's scratching his face. Oh, like, that's good. Like a, like you're scraping like a guitar string or something. Like it's this, it's this rasp. Um, and Kor doesn't, Kor doesn't move. And there's no, like, there's no marking on the face where the javelin just was. So I just look at Ronan. Nice shot. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. I was so going to ask going Josh to... for his javelin, because he has one. But he left. But he's gone. 
Yeah, so I'm going to use the returning weapon infusion on Ooh. the javelin that he just threw at me. Okay, so real quick, real quick flavor moment. Um, what does it look like when you put an infusion on? What? How does how does Mari? Like, how he pulls out his yeah, wiener right. and just starts peeing on it. <laughs> Woo! Which is impressive because the cart's like four feet off the ground. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm gonna pull out like this tiny little shoots up. It's like a little tiny, tiny little like circular device, mm-hmm. kind of like out of my bag. I'm just gonna kind of like work it to like attach it to this to like where he holds the javelin. And the okay. Handle. So I'm just gonna attach it kind of like somewhere around there. So okay. It's gonna take me a little bit to like attach it. I gotta like smack it in there with a hammer. But kind of yeah. kind of wiggle it around it. So yeah. so Ronan, you <laughs> see this this hammer. gnome kind of reach because it's it's right about eye level with this gnome. If he's like he's got to like look up a little. Bit. <laughs> His arms are gonna be sore. <laughs> <laughs> and in about five minutes, his the work is done. Oh. Uh, all right, here you got to take this, and I hand another circle to him. Um, you should attach this to your glove or your whatever you have, have on your gloves? hands. If you have things on your hands. I have no, I feel like hands. you have things on your hands. You have like right. um, well, because because I Roman, have clothes I like have, like, common. Do you have? You don't have armor or anything. Mm-hmm. He, he All right, is, well then just hold this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this. I'll put I'll put it in my pocket. If you tap this thing. Okay, your weapon's gonna return straight to you. Uh-huh. So better. You so I'm gonna it, go. But... I'm gonna go on the thing in my pocket, and I guess the javelin is gonna come flying back at me. And I'm just yeah, gonna. I'm gonna, not gonna like look at it. I'm just gonna be like. Just grab so it. When, yeah. when it flies back, it comes back to where the device is. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I have to catch it. Like <laughs> you have to catch it. <laughs> so so and Mari, if you wanted to something to, to kind of interject if you wanted to tweak it so that it flies vertically like a like a stick and instead not a of coming spear. Back first <laughs> yeah yeah well, it could come back handle first i would be okay with that that would just bonk me with a piece of wood Give me a little bonk. We'll handle okay first. so it comes back handle first and i go grab it and i'm like thank you little friend do you have a go boomerang go. I do now have a boomerang. Speaking of boomerang, javelin, oi, dragon important. friend! I noticed you had a javelin earlier. Are you using that? I don't. I don't have any javelins. You told me that you had a javelin like yesterday. He's got Cheetos. <laughs> got Cheetos. <laughs> no, I, I have no javelins. Cheetos. You told me you had a javelin. You're like, yeah, ask me for it. You can have it. And I was like, dope. Now I you don't have you one. Took that during the bugbear fight. I think you took my javelins, Chris. I have no javelins at all. Oh, so yeah, I should I have took... three javelins then. Yes, because that's why you were excited about extra attacks. Ah. I weapon. was here for that conversation. So, oh my God. I, can't, I can't even read about the infusions because I didn't buy the uh, supplies. So. I, I did, so I can I can provide that if you need to. Um, yeah, so, Chris. Somewhere. That'd be cool. Uh, so Chris, maybe or Ronan, your javelin is now a returning weapon. Come on, you need to be on play nice. So it grants, so you get plus one to attack and damage rolls, and returns to your hand immediately if after it's used to make a ranged attack. Oh, so I could essentially just ch- huck the same one over and over again if I wanted to. Correct. Okay. Do I have to? So that's just a plus one to pretty much all the uh, things that I do. Plus one to attack and damage. Yes. Okay. So is there any way that I can add that to my little sheet? Uh, I guess I could just make a javelin and write plus uh, one. If you, if you do, I think it would count as a magic weapon. Uh, so, but I'll if you put... made a if you made a separate javelin that just had plus one plus one and said re- magic returning javelin, we could do that. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, fix that later. I'll just write on this okay. piece of paper and I'll, for now. I'll just make a note. Um, plus okay. one. So, uh, so Mario, was there uh, anything else you wanted to uh, infuse before the party ran away? To do miscellaneous um, things. Oh yeah, do I see any fish? Um, give me a nature check, Lithar? Or Lami? 
Nature check. Me? Uh, yeah. If you if anyone wants to help him, uh, you can give him advantage. Uh, oh, on we're check. going hunting. Yeah, yeah, if you want to go hunting, you can see if there's oh, fish if we want to help. Yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. a half so hour is going by while I'm getting my javelin. Okay. Stroked. Okay. Well, the, the javelin takes like five minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, in future, this is like a... Oof. Okay, I got a ten. What do you got a ten for? So the nature. So to help so you. you're giving. To see if there was. A you're giving. So Josh will Josh will just roll twice effectively. Yeah. So you're, you're, yeah. Whatever his name his score is. Hey, so, that's better. So when you right. assist someone, you're basically I know this because I just rewatched the part where Curtis explained it to me well, God, turn two that episodes off. ago. Basically, when you're assisting someone, you're basically just picking up your D20 and being like, here, roll this too. And then they roll two oh. D20s and they take the higher of the two numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven for my okay. fish check. Okay. Uh there there's a minnow. See... You see plenty of, of smaller fish, so you could probably... You, there's a good chance there's going to be something bigger here. And at the very least, there's, like, toads and some bigger uh, carnivores float around the river. There's a fucking naga the in the water, just like... Is it a super <laughs> fast river? Is it a slow river? How fast uh, does this thing move? You could stand in it without too much trouble. It's, it's, a, it's flowing quickly enough, but there's small eddies in spots where the current will kind of circle before dumping out little pools and stuff like that. Yeah, I want uh, to stand want... in one of those spots. I'm going to stand there. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of pools that are, like, waist deep. There's a couple that are chest deep, and there's one or two that you just can't see the bottom. Okay, I want to, I want to go somewhere between waist and chest deep. <laughs> okay, you found a rib deep pool and that you're now standing in. <laughs> I cast fire breath. <laughs> <laughs> That would, ah! for, that would be bad for a number of reasons. Um, <laughs> so, Lythar and Ronan, you guys are going off hunting. Um, unless Mari has another... Again, I didn't uh, hear if Mari had another infusion he wanted to put out, because he could put out three. Yeah. Hey, elf boy, you got a bow? See you, Lythar. <laughs> you have two bows. Don't you have a short bow and a long bow? No, Did I got you... a long bow and two short swords. Okay. Also, you know my name. We talked on the cart, you dingus. <laughs> we had a conversation. I'm not very, I'm very good with names. Um, can I, can I see your bow? But all right, I want to. You call I me. Add Elf a little, fun. little doodad. Lifar just holds his bow up within sight. So I, I look, yeah, I look at uh, Mari. And I, Is there anything you can do to this bow with these arrows? Yeah. So I'm gonna take out another little, little circle guy. I'm gonna. Stuff it right in the handle of the of the bow, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a repeating shot. So you don't have to use am ammo anymore. Ooh. So I, Grant's... I just I just look at the gnome. And... My guy. <laughs> oh my guy. So he grants <laughs> a plus one bonus to attack and damage yep. rolls too. And so you just so have to write that on something for now. Plus that one attack, on plus one hit. My... Mm -hmm. That's so five bonus. plus eight. Now it's plus nine, mm -hmm. and then for damage, one d eight plus four, plus five. Now, now plus five. Yep. There Wait, he is. I have a plus four. Have I not been adding on my damage roll? You have. I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Core kind of rolls around in the wagon a little bit while all this magic is happening, uh, but doesn't do anything. Should I engage with you? <laughs> Sorry, should I make like a magic weapon or should I just kind of uh, <coughs> know that in my You we can make a magic weapon either at break, uh which Yeah, is I of... I'll just keep that in mind. Yeah, we'll just re we'll remember that. the plus 1 for those two and then we'll we'll yeah. tweak that. Yeah. Um and so I I Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, I, I look at uh more and I just say thank you very, very much. It's nice to know we have someone who is competent and not unconscious. Hey, I know things. I do know things. No, it was like a it was a stab at core because he seemed to be like <laughs> not unconscious, earlier, but now he's unconscious. There's a really loud snore from the wagon. Do people that, snore when it. they're in a coma. Uh, they can. Oh, ah. coma's just really. The more you know. <laughs> this this dwarf is in a very active coma. It also so kind of sounds like, like an old Nokia this. phone ringing. It's like. Oh, <laughs> what, would, what would you like to do on this hour long break? Um, are we eating the stuff that we catch? 
Uh, yeah. I mean, Anybody, you, you that's guys the have, goal. You have field well, then, rations. Uh, I'm going to hop out of the wagon. I'm going to take my tinderbox out and try to make a fire. Okay. Um, I can help with that if he needs it. There's, there's <laughs> not, there's very little available timber where you guys are. There's almost no undergrowth for you to chop up, and there's very little um, sticks or branches. That I have hand axes. Can I cut we're, down a are tree? We, we're in the forest, right? Correct. God, Is, don't chop down an end. Can I, uh, <laughs> can I ask my boy Ronan over here to knock a tree down? Yo, I got you, boy. Okay. Did we walk away yet or not yet? This is this is kind of this is all kind of happening concurrently. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. So run it. I'm gonna say yes. I'll try to tear a tree from the ground. Um, I uh, look around for a minute and I find like a smaller one of them. Um, I don't know how big these trees are, but I'm gonna pick a smallish one. They're the the smaller ones are easily like. 50 years old like these are still large large trees um i would say probably <laughs> Yoski, like, got some girth like huh? it's it's a chunky tree these, these okay. trees have been basically undisturbed for a very long time okay so i'm gonna pick one by the edge of the water because mm-hmm. that way i can try to push it using the bank as like a fault point push it push it over the bank okay yeah, which is a bad idea because then it'll be wet. But the inside of it won't be wet. And then we can use a hand axe to cut it up. Um, and I'm just going to straight on, like, tackle this tree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> gore, gore, gore! Um, <laughs> strength check? Strength check, please. Strength check. Did, did anybody understand like... that gore reference? Mm-hmm. No. I did yeah, not. Josh? Yeah. Rhino? Uh, mm-hmm. Do I add my strength yeah, modifier I... to that? Core so you will add four okay. to this roll. So that is a twenty-one. So you you get a, you get a good head of steam, and just tuck your shoulder into it and just spear into this tree. And like you you get a little bit of like you leap and you're no longer pushing. You become a projectile and you slam into this tree, <laughs> and the tree bows. Bows and your weight on it is enough to tip it over and drop it. And th- like when the roots of this thing come up, it starts pulling up. You're pulling up an entire root system more than just the root of this tree. Uh, oh, <laughs> so other trees in the area are oh, no longer no. straight and true like they were. Oh they're no, now a little. They're also now a little catacombs. <laughs> oh no, I feel like I know what that means. I think, think we fucked means up. off kilter. No, I know what that means. I'm worried uh, about the the. I'm thinking like Avatar, great knowing tree swamp, shit. Um, so I mean, Ent's gonna come and finger my butt. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, so the trees the tree's been knocked <laughs> over. Okay. Uh, okay. How does how, does Ronan know these things about? Does, how, how does Ronan feel about uprooting an entire ecosystem in a single I don't tackle? think Ronan really cares. Um, I have animal handling. I don't have any plus to nature. <laughs> you don't have tree um, handling, that's correct. No. <laughs> tree handling. <laughs> um, um, uh, Lithar, how do you feel about Core having just, or Ronan, just uprooting, boy, uh, Ronan uprooting an entire, like, ancient tree? I'm, uh... I like Ronan, so I'm not like mad at him, but I'm definitely like, good God, this is not like I'm like definitely like kind of torn because I'm like, this is my buddy, but I'm also dude, no. So I feel like like I kind of just I have to roll a nature check. Should I'm scared now. Fin- finish your finish your is thought. that gonna uh, well finish I'm just thought. like I was say I kind of just stand with my jaw dropped, like, and I want to like. I feel like my sense wise, I'm trying to make sure, like, I would like to know if this is like a magical type of forest at all, or if like there's anything with the trees that he just disturbed that might go I down. Definitely fucking disturbed something. That would be an excellent opportunity <laughs> for you to roll a nature check. 
<laughs> oh. Yeah. oh no if that's wow. what you want to find out roll nature i might have made a mistake is there anything else i want to figure it out um i mean perception but you're you're look you're asking the right questions so like yeah. if you're like i so want to know x y and z yeah. or going yeah. i want to do a b or c that's what helps me determine what checks you need to do to accomplish x y or z and uh can i assist him i got uh... Or I guess I don't know. So I guess I you're can. you're you're none plus. You're like I just took down a tree. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm over there. Like, I just I got a I got a sixteen. Okay. And that's with your that's with your plus three. Yeah. Okay. Um. This <coughs> forest. Oh wait, like the, is there oh. a? For Sorry, I have. I also have like my preferred uh, environment or whatever is forest. Uh yes, your proficiency bonus. The... Your proficiency bonus is doubled. So, so, so plus three is plus six. Oh, so then I got a nineteen Correct. instead of a sixteen. Okay. Um, so I remember that I wanted to double check. Um, you feel the hairs on the back of your neck start to start to twitch a little bit. Because you're looking around and realizing that, yeah, the tree doesn't look that old, but it's very rare for roots to intermix like that unless these are really old woods. And the fact that there is, the fact that everything looks well tended to is unusual. For, for any forest, but this this looks like judging based on the uh, wildlife reactions to you guys driving a cart through and the lack of any major underbrush or debris and the face and you're remembering the face that you saw for a brief second. You've got we a didn't really, see your face. You've got a really good idea what might be in like there might be something in these woods and this is not the sort of thing that you want to do that this is not the sort of place that you fuck around in lightly yeah so i look at ronan and i'm just like ronan what get away from the trees get over well, here but the, the trees are everywhere how do we get away from all of them come near the cart because okay. the, the road's kind of like separated a little bit uh, or the, is it like a, road boom? There's probably 10, 10 to 15 yards of, uh, so yeah, like 20 to 30 feet of yeah. just forestation between you and the and the creek. All right. So yeah, I look at Ronan. Come over to me. I need you to detect magic. This is not safe. There's definitely something here. These are very old woods. Right. These are very old woods. Something is here. I you cast know, the magic. Should the, you, should, you should try and put the tree back. Okay. I'm going to try to stand the tree back up. Second strength check. Uh, <laughs> I can wrap my rope Sorry, around buddy. it and then pull it back up. Uh, Sorry, the, buddy. The, the creek is shallow enough here that you can stand and, like, if you really felt like it, you could get on the top and, like, ladder. You, you could foot it and hook it up. Um, okay. So you can use a strength check if anybody wants to help. Someone help me. I'm or, gonna help. Or, or burn okay. your inspiration if you feel like it. Okay, so <laughs> so you uh, see Okay. Ronan Ronan looks like <laughs> I'll put this back. <laughs> Runs into the <laughs> water. He's like, oh. <laughs> like he's so he's like uh, I'm sorry. Seventeen um, um, plus four. Twenty one. Actually, uh Ronan, do you do you think so what do you think when now that you just saw Lithar be like you need to you need to leave that tree alone. Like I these think, trees are like I think I fucked up, and to fix that, I'm gonna put the tree back. <laughs> Do you think the tree's alive? I'm gonna help him because I asked him. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, out of instinct, I just try to put the tree back up. He can try. He can tell me to stop okay. if he wants. Yeah, um, but okay. I no, rolled I'm... a 17, and then I have a plus four strength, so 21. Did you roll an advantage? <laughs> I'm helping you. I did advantage. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So twenty one, <clears throat> which is great. Uh, Someone gave me advantage because I rolled a three to begin. Yeah, that's why we <laughs> help each other. Uh, so 
Rodin gets his uh, gets his hand up on the other side and starts to lift, and Thrall runs over and sort of like plants himself on the on the base of the tree and just kind of foots it so that Ronan can get his hands up under it and start walking it up. And as it kind of settles into place, uh, there's still all this up. There's all the earth and sod is all torn up around it. Um, but that, as it settles back in, you see the other trees kind of straighten and resettle themselves. And as they kind of, as they kind of nestle in, all three trees start to sway in unison and the wind like they do not match the way the wind is blowing as seeing this i cast the tech magic um okay <laughs> uh, let me see how your magic works um so as you you stand at the base of the tree you start to glow this vibrant healthy green your skin is still the normal Goliath gray. You don't turn into the Hulk, but you, you're you emanating this pulsing green light. And can we all see this? Yes, this is this is the brightest thing. Like, it's it, under the canopy, it's as bright as the sun. I'm, I'm not looking. I'm staring into the river looking for fish. <laughs> uh, we should leave. Uh, Lommy, we Lommy, need to leave. Lommy, Lommy, give me a dex check. Dex check, you got it. That is a seventeen. Okay. Uh, you you feel something kind of brush past your leg, uh, and you just real quick reach down and grab it, and it's actually it's about a three foot pike, oh, like Beautiful. a or like a like like a fish. Not not <laughs> like a, a fish. He does not find a weapon. He finds a fish. It's the bubbles. pike's just swimming around. Perfect. He's just hanging out in this creek. Look at he, he's been preying on like some some bass and shit like that, but you just like ripped him out of the water and he the fish is just as confused as you are. He he's coming with me. <laughs> uh, so I yell at Lami that we need to freaking leave. But I have a fish. I don't care. You don't like fish? I do like fish, but we need to leave. So you do want the fish? I want the fish, yes. Bring the fish. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna scramble on out of the water with my fish friend. Mm. <laughs> then I'm um, gonna eat. <laughs> okay. You're still wiggling fish friend. Yes. Um, so as the as <coughs> Ronan and Thrall keep heading towards the wagon, a pretty much a dead run. <laughs> um, <laughs> you start seeing these tiny lights off in the deeper, darker part of the woods out of the pine barrows that you just came from or from that direction, you start seeing tiny wisps of light. Does my over. detect magic change color at all? Nope. These are still, still just green nature magic. Super things. duper nature. And they are also like the trees themselves are the trees themselves are not necessarily the wood is not magical. But there is something magical about these trees and all of the trees around you. So you're feeling like you are in the middle of a metal, like you are so surrounded by strong, powerful nature magic that it's basically bleed. It's, it's, um, there's a word for it. Um, <clears throat> you can't, that's all you can. It is maxing out every single magical detector you have. Yours redlined. Okay. Because you are in the thick of nature magic. Um, Oof. Lythar, give me a nature check with advantage. Hopefully I get a better roll. Jesus Christ. Well, my best roll was the second one, which is 10 total. And ten total gotta... with your six. Oh, six! I forgot because you're in the Shit. woods. So seven plus three. six, third. Okay, so you you've never seen these things before, but you know one that anything that produces light in the woods is usually not a good thing. Um, and from you know, the stories that your mentor told you. These look like will-o'-wisps. 
floating through the trees, which is not necessarily the best thing because they are usually, um, those are the precursors to something much more problematic. Mm. So so Lithar knows this. None of you know this. Um, Yeah. Unless I obviously were to say something. Which I would recommend. Um, yes, uh, yeah. So, with that, with that info, actually, I'll let you, we'll do your explanation, and then we'll take we'll take five after this, so everyone can pee and cool. get more more drinks. I need another beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, um, I see this. I, I I would say like it definitely takes like a second since like I guess that wasn't the greatest role. It takes a second for me to think like back to my teachings from my mentor, and then like it kind of clicks and hits me like, uh oh this is not good like something worse is about to happen and i just like look around and i like i scream like not scream but like very loudly like so everyone can hear i'm like everybody get in the cart i'm driving we need to get out of here we're going now something bad is on its way what what, what's coming the grass the the trees the dirt get in the cart i'm coming i i just perfect (laughs) moment to pause (laughs) We we of cut, course we cut to the mer- dragon board. What do we have to? We cut to commercial with him just yelling, "Get in the cart!" And the, if if this was like a TV show, <laughs> the camera cuts back, and you just see the party standing around the cart, going, "What the fuck's happening?" And you just you all start to see these floating wisps, these little specks of light start floating through the woods at you, hmm. and that's where we break. Lovely. Sweet. This ad brought to you by Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> My personal sponsor. I'm coming. My personal sponsor. My That's personal. why my chair is blue. <laughs> what was the What was the, the company? It wasn't Viagra. It was like something else for the guy who always Cialis? walked around like this. Yeah, that he was, was Viagra. Oh no, I'm pretty sure. no, no, because it was. This uh, is it had Bob. Fucking... Be like Bob. He has the key <laughs> to the city. <laughs> yeah, I swear that was Viagra. Um, I thought that was what. What was it? See, uh, was the Bob. Cialis. I swear yeah, it's Viagra it. Bob. <laughs> Viagra Bob. Enzite. Enzite. <laughs> right, for natural marital enhancement. Oh, oh, Bob. So, so Chris, if you can put this in for our commercial break music, I just want like, I just want the whistling. I okay. just want <laughs> Smiling Bob whistling as our as our Perfect. break music. Put it in for about we a minute. Give stiffies in a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> 29 seconds so we don't get a copyright struck and then we're back okay uh so we'll be back at 9 50 boys and girls perfect all right see you then. Pee break resistance and uh oh, this is too good to be i don't oh, oh god oh, that's that's the game time um <laughs> so, it's time to go mm, yeah we were we were, we're, we're not eight minutes late because of dp so yeah. Dude, I'm sorry. I go. need to make a PB and J. How many pieces of bread minutes? did you use? You need those uncrustles. Two. Exactly. Um, so how many pieces of bread do you use? <laughs> snapping, snapping back from commercial break because we've got about an hour, and I'd love to get through this. Um, we. So yeah, you Lythar are brought to your attention uh, that there's a lot of glowy orbs of light coming from the pine barrens that you were just in uh and lithar is a little nervous about everything that's kicking off and as far as you can tell everything seems uh pretty pretty hunky genuine uh he seems uh, he seems well and truly nervous i'm gonna ask again what lithar is afraid of are, are you afraid of the trees are you afraid of the grass are you afraid of the dirt He's afraid of the face. Is, is it the field mice? <laughs> do you do you want a I quick just... better explanation uh, of what of what's up with these guys? I can I can message you a quick explanation. Mm-hmm. You can share whatever you'd like. Yeah, because I, I, I know think what's up with that. This there's thick, a lot of them. This this thick headed fuck isn't gonna listen to anything until I give him an explanation. So. See, I'm almost as dense as Chris. But I'm not dense enough to not question everything. <laughs> I mean, if you have an elf who's very proficient in nature screaming at you that we need to leave while we're in the forest and you don't listen, you're. 
I'm, I'm just being my character, man. <laughs> Your character is an idiot. No, I'm just kidding. Are the horses still drinking water? Uh, they're they're get they're getting a quick drink. Uh, they're kind of they're grazing currently. They're taking a, taking a couple minutes. So I'm going to go get the horses. I was th I was about to scream at you to go get them because you brought them over there. But okay, you could go do that on your. Somebody's peeing. This I'm filling a beer. All I'm saying is, what could some trees possibly do that I should be so concerned about? I was having a grand old time catching some fish, and I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> so I grab the horsey, and I bring, I'm bringing the horsies back to the wagon. I'm hooking the horsies back to the wagon, and then I'm picking up Lamy and putting him in the wagon. I don't think strength you check, up, buddy. Yeah, I can. I tackled a tree <laughs> and won. I thought you were gonna shatter the tree. To be honest, same. You I was kind of expecting me to like go through it and then it just yeah. like crack and blow Boosh. up. Boosh. You you might be able to pick me up, but can you pick me up and a fish? Yes. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I just, right. can I go over to Lamy and just grab his fish and throw it in the wagon? Don't touch my fish. <laughs> Do I have to roll like a, right. a grappling check? Hold on. That's my lunch, homie. Oh, <laughs> eat it in the wagon. Bitch. Okay. Dude, that reminds me of. Uh... It's going to get away. <laughs> so, so, sorry. <laughs> um, Y'all are. So, so uh, Ronan ran and collected the horses and hitched everybody up. Um, uh, Ronan, make me an animal handling check unless somebody wants to help him, like Thrall, because these are this is more. I'll help him. Cart. I'll I'll help him because we were both doing the same thing. So okay. I would, I would so that's uh. So yeah, um, with Thrall helping, uh, Ronan, you don't need to roll. Oh, okay. He's there. These horses are are less skittish around him. Um, so you guys get everybody hooked up and <laughs> unpack <laughs> what supplies you un you were able to unpack in the probably 10 to 15 minutes you were uh kind of chilling out um but to get everything kind of packed together uh while life is taking a, another quick look around the uh uh around the woods you get a little a little more and more nervous yeah um, as these as these bright lights start getting closer and closer and closer to you there's <clears throat> fireflies my elven friend they're they're about 50, so the closest one's about fifty feet away. So right after Lamy says they're just fireflies, what'd you call me, Elven friend? Yes. Okay, I want I want to be too mean if you just call me a friend. <laughs> so, but as soon as he says that, I like I'm like you know I'm looking in the forest, and as soon as I hear him say, I like jot my head directly towards Lamy, and I'm just like, no friend, these are wisps. These are Friendo. like the scouts and alarm systems of ancient forests like this. There is a darker magic here. You know what startles these things? Large destructive actions. Could be a tree falling or, you know, a Goliath tackling a tree. These things are not dangerous. They are harmless. But this means more dangerous things are coming and we need to get out of here. This forest has things that take care of. Trust me, I've seen these types of things. In my youth, when we used to have orcs attack our city, we would use these. Oh, that's why I don't like Trust orcs. me, we need to get out of here. Well, I'm bringing the fish. Bring the damn fish. We need to go. Can I? Um, actually, I need to double check. I, I have an animal spell, but I forget if it would what it is. I have nope. Speak with the animal. Could I possibly use speak with animals on the horses and basically tell them to go as fast as possible without um, having to like roll? Or I mean maybe roll, but without like an animal handling check. Like a more maybe you're successful talking to them, thing. You like persuade them? Uh, uh let me see. I just like rolling thing. Yeah. <laughs> um You stand up, strength roll. 
if you yeah so if you burn burn a spell slot um because you could cast it as a ritual but you don't have 10 minutes um yeah if you if you wanted to cast speak with animals and explain a little more simply because they are they are horses and they're not yeah horse? bad thing come eat you we bad go. thing come and they're pretty sassy back. too yeah they ask they're, them why they're, they're so sassy to the gnome but <laughs> if, you, if you wanted to burn a spell slot to communicate with them you i would absolutely like yeah them yeah to just basically tell them what's happening and that they all need to, we all need to boogie out together yeah all right so <coughs> well has lami have i convinced lami yet is he coming towards us with the fish at all i'm by the wagon cart yeah. I'm, I'm getting in the cart you're getting in the cart. Thank the Lord. Okay. So everybody's in the cart with my fish. I'm not giving up the fish. That's my uh, lunch. Thrall, <laughs> Thrall, are you driving? I was going to, I originally said I was going to drive, mm. but that was when I just kind of yelled out. But if someone uh, wants well, to, because if Thrall, if Thrall wants to, like, now that he's feeling up and better, if he wants to be sitting in the front, he'd be like, fuck you. This is my wagon. That's totally in his, in yeah, his but, prerogative to let him do that. So that's entirely up to This is my wagon. It is thrown. Yeah, away. I'll 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 drive because um, the man owns a wagon. I th I, was it last time that we had me check something to make them go faster? Mm -hmm. You you that was a uh, was animal was that animal handling with proficiency because you are proficient in animals, <laughs> whatever that means. It's the most uh, yeah, vague let's... descriptor. So technically, you're proficient also in like an M1 Abrams. Having never been in one, <laughs> so, so any vehicle. I'm gonna take the reins from Lamy if he's the one sitting in there, and then I'm, I mean I'm not driving. I'm in the back, or not Lamy um, with my fish. Lithar. I think I think Lithar is not quite in the wagon. Yeah, I'm mean, well still not chat with the horses. Before he would hop up in there, I would take the spot and say I'm gonna drive us out of here. All right, and so. Then, uh... <clears throat> So I guess I'm gonna cast speak animal speak with animals to the mm -hmm. horses. So, and... so you cast you cast it on yourself, so you can talk to okay. any any beast within hearing range, and it lasts for ten minutes. So I cast speak with animals, mm -hmm. and you cast it on I like. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Maybe that'll prove that hippogriff diplomacy. Oh, <laughs> God, that oh, I, I could have done. That. I didn't even think about that. Um, oh, well. So I, I cast speak with the animals and okay, I basically so. just say to the horses, or do I have to say something to them? Um, I guess since I'm sp so since you're since you're speaking to them, um, give me a real quick like five minute descriptor of how you cast your spells and like what you're doing. Oh, sort of to the horses, like when when you're casting speak with animals, what do you see life are doing? To communicate with them. <laughs> Come here, home, home. <laughs> no, I, um, it could just be something. I get. Oops, I was sorry, just kind of light are kind of just like I stand and like I close my eyes and like concentrate. Mm -hmm. And just, just kind of like, like I I kind of just like let my hands like hang and I like just close my eyes and I like just feel like the energy of everything like flow like from my legs up through my body. Okay, and I, I, I kind of imagine like as this happens, like my eyes are closed, my eyes are closed. It's all happening, and then they just flip open, and like there's like a little bit of like discretion in my eyes. Okay, because I'm ready to like speak with animals, you okay. know, like just a little bit different eye color, like hmm. animal okay. color. So it's 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 a so horse you, colored. You see <laughs> Lithar, like he takes a second in front of both horses, and you see him like. Take this big inhale that seems to come from his feet all the way up into his head and then his yeah. eyes light up and his eyes are glowing the same color as ronin was glowing earlier it's that same kind of gentle strong steady green light um as he as he sort of attunes himself with all the animals around him and so, what would you like to say to these two horses? Wait, so am I like hearing the voices of like squirrels and shit running you, around too? Like, you, beep, 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 beep. yeah, you hear the sounds of the forest. 
That's exactly what squirrels sound like. And you are notice, they freaking out? You notice okay. that aside from basically, you hear some very distant voices of smaller creatures and birds just being like, run away, run away. And they're just fading into the distance. Um, <laughs> one of the one of the horses, the first horse that looked back at a, the horse on the the right as you're facing it is a um is a gray gray and white spotted mare she looks at you and goes what are you looking at and the one on the other side who is a uh black and brown spotted uh gelding just goes yeah what's he looking at why why is it why do they always look at us like oh i don't know you do do you want to like bite him or something i don't know he keeps looking at us funny he's weighing me out Horses are kind of just, and just everyone else, these horses are just kind of nickering and like tossing their heads. Mm-hmm. It's not really. So I, I like look at them. And I just say, listen, we don't have time to do this. We need to leave right now. I need you guys as fast as possible. We have a very dangerous magical force coming after us. If you want to live, we need to leave now. And I need you to sprint as fast as possible. And so they, they kind of take a second, look at each other. And the one's like, I, I don't know, is he is he telling the truth? And the other one's like, I don't know. Like and like they're they're turning and looking and out of the corner of the eye, you see one of them look and he just goes, Oh fuck. Yeah, I was like, about to say I like I just point at the like the cutlet, the wisps, and I'm just like, You see that? We need to go now. Worst things are coming. <laughs> they're like and they look and uh the the mayor just goes, You should move now. <laughs> We'd like to leave. Can I do, like, can I do like a legless elephant trunk, like whip up onto the cart and like, whoop, like just kind of like hurl yourself off the. Uh, oh yeah, no, it's uh, what is it? He does yeah, it with a horse. He like, like wh- grabs the yeah neck the horse, and, like, he swings like, around and just oh, give me, sure. Oh god, give I'm gonna me. fall and die. <laughs> Break Shit. your fucking acrobatics. Neck. Give you what? Leg. Acrobatics. You get plus this four acrobatics. This is what, I get. This is what I get for trying to do. You can uh, also burn your style point. point. Of, you can burn your point of inspiration after you roll. Well, do I get the double bonus since we're in the forest, or is that only with nature check? That is nat- That is intelligence or wisdom. This is neither. Oh, okay, so you not for dex. Be- okay. You do not become a gymnast because you're in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you're a monkey. Oh, all right. I got an 18 plus Harry. four, so that's a 20. 22. Great. Um, I better do this coolest cause thing. Because that, that's the sort of shit that I'm like, yeah, if you don't have inspiration, fuck yeah, I'll give it to you. Because that's like, so like the horse is like, you better move. And the gelding on the left just starts running. Uh, and you see Lythar, in, like, instead of like diving out of the way so he doesn't get trampled by horse and cart, he just stands his ground, calms you, please, takes a quick sidestep, holds his arm out. And the horse like runs through his arm and he just grabs and twists. It does like a full rotation and a half and just sits right next to uh right next to Thrall on the front seat. <laughs> and just he sticks the landing. And you realize that the entire time he had his eyes shut. Like completely Boom. on instinct. Uh which is why he landed next to uh next to Thrall and didn't immediately like scream and leap into the back of the cart. Because um, Lithar, you don't know that you're sitting next to your to uh, to Thrall at this moment. You're just in the front seat oh. of the cart, and you're like, "Fuck, hi, friend." That, you're like, "Fuck, that must have looked <laughs> awesome." Yeah. So now we're. Am I in the uh, cart? Gonna, we're I'm booked. Gonna look, it. I'm just gonna look amazing. Can I run as fast as horses in a cart? Um. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Like, I'm a Goliath. Taste- I should be able to like. Over. They have more stamina. But you have the longer legs, so you can maintain that pace. Um, I'm like a brisk jog, and they're like fucking running. Uh, at, at a dead run, like these horses are at, you are at like a long, you're at like a cross country, like you've got to make it 400 miles before dark, and it's, it's four o'clock. Like you're just like long, steady pace. Like, okay. You're still behind them. Mm -hmm. Uh, because they have a head of steam and they can just they eventually momentum will carry them through but for the rest of this jaunt you'll be in great shape rest of this jaunt um after i did that jump for the brand (laughs) 
Uh, <laughs> who who is sitting next to me in the car? Um, you are probably it's probably me. Mari. Mari. I'm chilling. So there's Mari. Mari's the only other one back there. Well, cool. there's Mari. There's Core, and there's the automaton. Core is laid out on the floor. Um, you should slap Core in the face with your fish. I I am gonna take my <laughs> I'm gonna take my fish. That's not nice. He's I, I'm gonna take a big old bite out of this fish. Just a big ass bite out of the is fish. It still like, I mean, hopefully, maybe it's like, it's like a minute old. Like <laughs> this whole thing <laughs> for a minute. And and I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it in front of in front of Mari and go one bite. <laughs> oh, that's 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 okay. Okay, fine. That. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take another bite out of my fish. I'm just gonna can I stop? All I this? can see is Gollum. <laughs> so Mario, biting is, into the fish. Is your automaton fish. sitting? Is your your defender sitting next to you? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, he's chilling. I think he needs a name because I feel weird. Just Frank. Him. Hey, Frank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll stick with Frank, Frank Reynolds, baby. <laughs> so, so you, you and Frank are sitting in the rear of the wagon. <clears throat> Frank's just kind of like staring at the dwarf. It's um, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> it's gonna be voiced by Danny DeVito. His name is Phil. That is my, he's Philatides, and you can't tell me. <laughs> um, so as you guys are running, um, Thrall, give me a animal handling check with advantage and your proficiency bonus. I'm just going to keep eating my fish. Yeah. Keep eating my <laughs> so You're so I, useless. Uh, so, Mommy, as a dragon, are you cooking the fish as you eat it? Like, what's your, like, inter- are, you, are you warm enough inside like, to cook it as you eat it? <gasps> I think so, but I was kind of just feeling some sushi. <laughs> <laughs> some sushi. Straight yeah, out of the river. Oh. 22. Yeah. Plus, so. 17 plus a 5. You guys, you settle in. Or and four. No, like, 21. Let's, Sorry. You're like, all right, let's fucking go. And with, uh, with Lythar's polite bit of encouragement, um, you got, you guys take off uh and you snap the reins you just give him a good quick whip and lithar you hear the horses be like all right guess we're going faster (laughs) and (laughs) gotta go fast uh, the mare's just like yeah do you want to get caught and eaten because that's what they do to horses and they're like no that's they turn them into glue that's what they do everywhere that's what they do everywhere the woods they eat people like us we're so not people. You, you, you could you could ask the just, horse what it is. They just they just keep they just gun it, um, and you guys leave the the wisps behind. Um, and as you guys are as you guys are tromping right along, um, you start seeing lights come, f- uh, not from behind you, but they're starting to trickle out of the side of these woods. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, and. Fucked up. <laughs> who's in who's in the back of the cart? I'm in the back of the cart. Me. me. Yeah. Okay. Um everybody in the back of the cart, uh, including Ronan, give me perception checks. Uh-oh. Perception check. There we go. So I know I'm do I know I'm sitting next to the orc now? No, at this point, yes. If you want to like I uh, no, I'll I'll, st- I no, I'll stay then. there. <laughs> I I got a fifteen. Ooh, I got a net twenty. Yeah, my guy. Um, what's your automaton get? Give me a roll for that guy. Um, Lytha, what did you want to say? No, I was say I'm I'm gonna stay there. Like I'll just kind of deal with it. Like I feel pretty badass after that. Like front flip, spin a into the into the carriage. So I'm like, yeah, I'm dope. All right. Just so kind of look say, over at him uh, and give him a little smirk. Revel in my dopeness. Yeah. My okay. steel defender got a ten. Okay. Frank. Do, Frank. Frank. Uh, Eleven. Okay. Um, I'm not so very deep, perceptive. You you start to see flickering shit, like as the wisps start coming out of the sides of the trees, or start coming in from the sides. You start to see these little bits of light, and as they float by trees, you start seeing faces and honestly, like figures. You see like outlines of bodies in these trees. And as your as the cart keeps moving, you see the same 
few faces keeping pace with the wagon, but only ever appearing in these trees. So, like, as you pass a tree, you see a face kind of morph out of it and then disappear and then catch up in a tree a little closer to you and keep your There's the, the face. The faces are coming a little further behind, but they're keeping pace with you as these little tiny spheres of light are tracking the wagon as you go. Did you see the face the initial round, or you just heard about no, it? No, I didn't see it. Yeah, I just heard about it. So, I, I, feel like... I, I was told about it, and then I... Yeah, who saw it first? I did. It was me and um, like me and Thrall at first. <clears throat> so, Thrall, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I freaking didn't believe you, man. And I'm going to like pull out my crossbow. Okay, and I'm going to try and shoot one of the faces. Okay. Um, Ooh, do, do I see the faces? Uh, you don't. Because uh, okay. what'd you roll? You read like an 11. I oh, have 15. I 15. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, Lami, as you are seeing these, uh, you, you're catching these faces right as they're disappearing, but you're starting to see them. You also see these two faces keeping pace with the wagon, and you guys are actually looking sort of across from each other. So, so Mari, you're seeing the one that's keeping pace, uh, with the so assuming that the the front of the wagon is the north side of the wagon um mari you're seeing the east side and lami is seeing the west side and you're seeing these two these faces keeping pace so you're looking o kind of over each other's shoulders and seeing these faces come at you i'm gonna throw what's left of my fish at the faces okay uh, <laughs> make a <sighs> <That's> a <brain laughs> of attack <laughs> Does a fish count as a fish? Does a one D, <laughs> one D two? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Flip a coin. Heads is one, tails is two. Um, <laughs> give me, yeah, give me a, give me a dex check. Uh, dex check. Long, and uh, Mari, if you want to take a pot shot, if you want to take a shot, yeah, I'm taking a pot shot with my uh, crossbow. Make an attack roll with disadvantage because you are on a. Sp Didn't you miss every shot in the last battle? Mar Shh. <laughs> technically, technically that was an entirely different character because yeah, then they released the artificer and we had to rework the whole thing oh okay so he's a Is new he still man a gnome? yes i'm still a gnome okay he's With just a little artificer. boy the ballista the pocket ballista and the just pocket change characters ballista. to be like a 20 foot goliath instead yeah there you go <laughs> little yeah. man i got a 16 uh, on my dex check <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, how'd you do, Mari? The fucking fish shuriken. Uh, I got a, a twenty-one. <laughs> okay. A plus one. Oh, that's another nat twenty. <laughs> oh, that's a crit. Okay, that's important Ooh. to know. Um. So, so you see, Amari, from where you're sitting as you're crank, as you're pulling your crossbow up and getting it ready to fire, you see Lami take his take a bite of his fish. Basically, like he puts it in between his teeth and pulls, like he puts the tail between his teeth, <laughs> has the head, and, pulls, and you just see like all of the meat and the rest of the fish. He basically boned this thing with his teeth, um, <laughs> and he he takes it by the tail, spins it a couple of times, and hucks it, <laughs> and he hucks it at a tree, and as this face comes out of the tree, <laughs> this fish is. <laughs> and you see the fish fall at the face looks affronted <laughs> like because it's like <coughs> the equivalent of walking into a room and getting slapped in the face you're just like <laughs> what <laughs> what the fuck <coughs> and it disappears and pops out <coughs> and so you you mar you take your crossbow and you set it up and you're like eh, and you're you're watching the tree start going by and you're like that one you track it you fire and roll damage for me oh, shoot i don't remember what my freaking crossbow is it's a big boy no it's a light boy now yeah he's not a to play d8 anymore. or a d6 he doesn't oh, have the the ballista schlong <laughs> the thing that's uh, in you <laughs> simple ammo range to hate the mandalorian machine gun i don't know about yeah. the mandalorian no spoilers machine gun. i haven't seen it you guys need to watch it's it. In the first you episode, to watch I, it. I haven't I seen have any Disney, of it. I don't have Disney Plus because I don't want to feed the mouse. Dude, just uh, 
good. Good. I don't steal know. it from the internet. So, oh, right. steal it. Yeah. It's on four chan. <laughs> Everything's on four chan. I don't think uh, I get any bonuses or anything with that. Oh, well, it's a crit, so it doubles. It's a light, it's a light cross. Thirty-four. Yeah, you um, get to roll double dice because oh, you yeah, crit. twenty. So it's two d eight. Two d eight. Okay. Two d eight plus dex, I think, because it's a ranged attack. Yeah. So two d eight plus one. Right. Oh, excuse me. Um. Proficiency with like okay, right proficient yeah because it's a martial weapon. All right, so I got a fifteen total. Okay, so you you've kind of you've you've done the math in your head and you're like, all right, they're they're moving this tree, this tree, this tree, this tree. Even you notice they're skipping smaller trees in favor of larger ones that are a little further up, further afield. So you're like, all right. You see a big tree coming, and you you take the second you line it up, and you're like, eh, they're gonna be right here, and you predict precisely where this face is gonna pop out because you you hear this twang from the back of the cart, and you see the bolt for a split second embed itself in this face that's popped its way out of a tree, and you all hear this un you hear a shriek that sounds like a tree branch. Oh, under like the the noise when you're like you're not trying to break wood, but you're slowly appro- applying pressure. Mm. It's that tearing, creaking shriek, and uh, it's I'm gonna much much louder. It's the loudest noise you hear, and you, it has a weird echo to it. Ooh, as it follows through this entire chunk of woods. Um, Could I'm gonna, I? I'm gonna say the wisps, as, as... real quick. All of the wisps stop. Oh, like they and disappear they keep... or they just <clears throat> stop? They stop moving. Oh, uh, I'm gonna I'm Uh-oh. gonna look over at my my homish friend and say, "Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. <laughs> shot, <laughs> that'll be big. <laughs> got me Lama solo. <laughs> Don't Thanks, get man. penises. <laughs> Lama <me> solo. <laughs> <laughs> um." Ronan, you saw as as you were running, you watch this dome, this tiny little guy who gave you a present on your javelin. You just watched him, and you get to see the full image. You see this. Uh, you see more of the face with the bolt in it, and you see this very dark fluid running from the eye on this face. And it looks it looks like tree sap. Mm. Which is leaking from the eye of his face, and then it's gone. The bolt is still in the tree, and the sap is still there. But the tree otherwise looks untouched as you keep sprinting past. As it. I as I run past, I'm gonna grab his bolt, bring it with me, just yank it out of the tree as I run. Can uh, I do that? I need to jump. Uh, give, <laughs> give me an <laughs> athletics check to jump. Ooh, you get the a class. Is gonna I'm not super. Shit. I'm just picturing you just like you run and you just. It's a little high up. But you get a plus six to athletics. I think give, give me that check. Got a check. Seven plus thirteen. He gets a plus six, plus six. in athletics. Wait, do I? Yeah, he does. How? I have, I have a plus got... seven in athletics. Oh Can yeah, I, I have a plus six. Athletics because I'm massive, and he's got a plus four <clears throat> uh, in his strength. Oh and so he's just like, mm-hmm. and he's just like, he he's he's starting to get a little winded, but he looks up. He's like, he just reaches up and pulls the bolt out of the tree. <laughs> uh, where, are you just gonna hold on to the bolt? Ronan, I'm, I'm gonna gonna... I'm gonna throw it at Mori and say catch. Uh, what if you're... <laughs> I'm not gonna like dart it at him. I'm gonna like oh end over end throw. So it's more unpredictable that way. <laughs> it's uh, harder for his head. Yeah. <laughs> Mari, do you want to try and catch or do you want Frank to take the, to take gonna, this one? I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna let Frank try and catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Does Frank rip Frank? Frank have a higher dex? Frank is the same dex as you. Uh, yeah, probably. But he gets a pl- uh So what I'll do is uh, this will be a saving throw. So you will roll a d20 and you will add three to that um, for Frank because he has advantage on dex saves. Okay. I, will give, I will give him that. <laughs> I got a 14 total. 14 total? Okay. Uh, so Frank... You duck, and Frank just kind of reaches over with his shield that he had, like his kind of dirty, ratty, like dinged up shield, 
and the bolt just tumbles end over end and just sticks in and just kind of quit it doesn't really quiver like it was shot but it's just like thunk. frank pops it out and hands it to you very very politely nice <laughs> here. almost like almost like a butler he's kind of just like here <laughs> Um, so as you guys, you guys just keep running. All the wisps have stopped moving, and as you're starting to run, um, they their light is gone, and now you're just running in towards. It's still like early afternoon, but somehow it feels like it's getting darker in the woods as you guys are running. Um, I feel like we're going the wrong way. <laughs> no, you're you're going. You've all been facing the correct direction. You have not changed your course. <laughs> Thank God we didn't start going backwards. <laughs> that would be us. Um, so the two guys in the front seat. Mm -hmm. um, give me perception checks, please. Fuck. Got an 11. Damn. Did you not one? No, I got a 3 plus 4 is 7. It, I can't even ask if this is important enough to use inspiration. I'm just not don't happy. For, don't you... forget your, your bonus because you're in the forest. Oh, that does count for perception. So that's plus so 8. So your proficiency bonus is doubled. So I got an 11. And that's what you got, Thrall? Yep. Okay, so as the two of you are running, you start hearing, uh, like, the wisps are gone, the shriek has abated, and as you're running, you don't see anything unusual. Um, and as you guys just keep running, um, unless you guys want to, to slow this pace, um, I'll just assume that we are going to keep this pace for most of the afternoon. Or as long oh, as you how am I doing? Um, yeah. How how's our buddy Ronan doing? If I jump Ronan? in the cart, I assume it's gonna slow down. It's gonna you're gonna probably tip the cart because jumping is a terrible idea for you. Your athletics is a plus six. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna say you're you're basically like you if you, um I'm just having a good old if, time. If Thrall and Lithart pull back the horses a wee bit, um that'll give everybody a chance to like keep moving without breaking okay um, instead of like you're less likely to break your neck on a fall and you can either speed up or slow down you'll just settle they basically hit cruise control and just coast okay so oi Let's, can uh, we can we take it back a little bit because i'm like did <laughs> accident change <laughs> it did he's a goliath he's a little he's he's busy it's he's okay i've sluggish. lost my voice yeah we'll back it down to normal pace okay so as you guys kind of kind of pace it down, um, there is no noise in these woods anymore, aside from the noise you guys are making. Not Seems a bad. Not a is. bird. No birds. No squirrels. Ooh. You haven't seen any kind of wildlife yeah. in a couple of minutes. Um, All right. As you as you tone down the pace, um, Lithar. Because it's only been probably five minutes. Uh, your you're not hearing anything unusual aside from the silence. The fact that these woods are so quiet is a, is weird in itself. But you're not hearing any other animals moving or talking. Um, right, the, that's more alarming than okay. It's a little alarming. Uh, the horses are a little a little. Um, a little frothy, but nothing. Uh, a little lathered. That's the word I wanted. Frothy. Frosty. They're a little lathered. They're a little sweaty, but um, is uh is Lomi still glowing? Lomi. 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 No, Lithar. Hey, he's no, he's no, Ronan was glowing. Lomi, was glowing. Lomi doesn't glow. Oh, okay. Someone <laughs> was glowing. No, with the magic. Yeah, yeah, the magic I glow. Oh, uh, wrong. And my my eyes were glowing from when I was speaking with Which animals. Which they still so are I guess because you're still speaking. Yeah. So you're just like the fucking but you're green also, lantern. But you're also behind me, so you can't see me. My eyes, at least. I think. If, if I'm glowing, we have bigger problems. Cause it means I'm... <laughs> <laughs> the fish was poisoned. <laughs> so, so, it, the, <coughs> Mercury poisoned. Back. Ronan, from the back, you mm -hmm. you feel a lot of the magic 
you feel like the the bulk of the magic receding as you run away from it until it, it it's out of your the range of your magical senses um until uh oh uh ronin lifar and thrall give me uh A Cheetos check. What do I? What do I give? Mm, Cheetos. <laughs> Roll one D Cheeto. <laughs> one D Cheeto. Um, I got yellow. You guys give me perception checks. Ronin. Roll at. Ronin roll at advantage. Lithar and Thrall. Uh, just roll normally. You got fourteen. Retro Raggy. What do you get? Fourteen. Thirteen. Got a Ooh. 15. Am I doing uh, right perception? Advantage. Perception at advantage. Okay, so I got a 12 and a 15. And I don't have mm -hmm. any uh, bonuses on perception, so I got 15. Did you guys just see me count on my hands? I forget, I didn't know if that was visible. I'm not. It was. I'm not judging. <clears throat> God damn it. All right. Well, I got a 15 plus 8. That's why I had to do some finger math. <laughs> I already forget what I counted. 23. Plus. <laughs> plus eight is usually 23. <laughs> yeah, yeah I got a 23. Unless you're not on the head system, in which case, go fuck yourself. Um, so, you all hear the creaking of timbers. Extra, you feel a pulse of magic. Uh oh. Like a spike of nature magic coming uh -oh. from in front of the wagon. Uh oh. In front of the wagon? In Lithar, front of the wagon? In Lithar, front you of the see, wagon? You see branches shift in a way that only means a tree's about to come down. I'm going to yell that there's something in front of the wagon. I'm going to I'm start trying to sprint range. past the wagon. What'd probably say, getting a tree uh, drop. What'd you say, me. Brendan? I'm going to yank on the reins. Okay. So we, we kind of, you know, the horses kind of go up on their back legs, and we try, try, to, we try to slow down. And, stuff. and I'm the, I'm the only one that knows that a tree is probably going to fall, right? So you all hear noises. You all hear like creaking trees. You see it. You don't see the trees start to come down. You see branches moving. Like I'm gonna are moving out of. But I, I know that means you know a tree. You know that means a tree is coming down. You spend how, the time in the trees. How far away in front of us is that? Um, it's probably twenty to thirty feet. Like it's it's far it's enough right ahead there. That you you need to pull the trigger on. You need to break this as fast as. You is can. my speak with animals still going? Uh, as as thrall breaks, so, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to my mead. We just okay, hug it. Two kegs of Lami's having like the say, most I'm, interesting I'm time tonight rings, ever. <laughs> just in case we don't stop, can I yell back to Ronan about grabbing onto the back end of the cart in case we can't stop? Uh, yeah, I, well, I had I had an idea too that if it plans out well, the way that I think real it quick, is, I, I feel like I have the most power. I can still talk to the fucking horses right here, so hey, I'm gonna just be out. like. Yeah, but if they slow down too fast, the cart's just going to go whoop, 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 slamming into it. He's got a point. Ooh, that Physics. Shit. There's momentum. Inertia. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, they have so maybe grabbing onto the cart is the best fly. plan. How wide is the road? Um, the road is probably... The road's wide enough for two carts to pass each other if they go like off into the berm. So if you have a is 10 it foot... wide enough for a U-turn? Uh... Not a normal. Or though the cart will tip. <laughs> what if we use the Goliath as an it. anchor? We if you use, yeah. you use the Goliath <laughs> as a handbrake and just like. <laughs> then we would be going the wrong way. All right. Um, right. Wait, we have a cart. Way. The horses can't jump. Shit. I have an idea. Why do you put this pressure on me? I don't know so, what to say to them. Um, where so, am so I still behind the wagon? Because when this all started happening, I started you, running to try to pass right? the wagon. You are currently at the rear of the wagon as you're shouting, look out, there's shit ahead. Lythar, something you could do is you, so because of the age of this forest, there's not a lot of underbrush, so there's plenty of space. Think of like, 
uh, fucking take it off road. Think of it like uh, like the Black Forest in Germany, or like really old forests where there's no undergrowth, and there's just like trees and dead pine. Like redwood forest. Just, yeah. Like okay. Big, fucking big Ewoks trees. and shit. So um, like veer right. That's what they are. Like, off road. You could be like, like, so the tree is falling from the right side of the road. You can see the way the branches are falling. This thing is going to come down across the road about 30 feet away from you guys. So, okay. So I see that all of this and I say to, when I talk, also quick, like, when I talk to like animals, am I talking in like common speak out loud parcel or is time. it like all mental? Like, is it all like parcel not time. telepathic, but like, you're sitting there neighing like a horse and we're like what the <laughs> heck is this guy doing <laughs> uh, like will they understand uh, what so so in this case it's because of the horse is reasonably intelligent um these horses have never been to, to elfland they've never been to elven disney world um so they don't <laughs> they don't know how to speak elvish but if you basically the magic is giving an extra layer of meaning to your words so if you just yelled left or like go left they would understand that more clearly and understand more of your meaning in an instant such as this um, okay if you want well, to have like a, if you want to have a full conversation with the horses then you will be speaking in horse <laughs> just a lot so it's like on the right there. side if we're here on the road it's falling mm -hmm. from the right side Yes. So yeah. when we want to go, yeah, to the left. Would we want to go around the back of it and avoid any possible fall damage? What do you want to do? It's a wooded I, forest. We're gonna go straight. I want to try to tackle the, the tree as it's falling. To You've it already the did that. You know, you're at the rear. I mean, you're at the rear. Do it. I mean, do make it shatter, yeah. right? You're still at the rear of the wagon. Um, and the tree has not landed yet. You just felt a surge of magic. You don't know the tree is falling. Ronin so knows I, some shit is happening. The only one who knows the tree is coming down is Lythar. A th uh, Thrall has a weird idea that something bad's about to happen and is slowing the horses. So I'm going to say veer right, go around this tree. Um, like the one that the branches are shaking. I'm just going to kind of be like, go around the backside now. Okay. How do you, how do you feel about that, Thrall? The elf is giving you directions. Um, what what would I'm gonna yank? To I'm gonna pull the reins to that side, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull hard enough. So I'm gonna ask him to help. Okay. Try to direct the horses, kind of pull with me. Uh, to give me, give me an handling animal handling check with advantage. Um, and actually him? double. Uh, so because Thrall is driving, it'll be animal handling check with advantage. Um. Because you gave him, uh, because you told the horses to go right. I have to pee so bad. I'm right. sorry. Go okay. pee. I'm dying. Ronan so you want me to roll? Me. Yes, please. Right in. With advantage. Oh, how much would the advantage be? Uh, so you'll roll another d20 and take whatever result is higher, and then add all your numbers to it. Okay. Uh... Uh, I got 22. Okay. Yeah, that nice. is that is plenty. So with because Lithar was yelling at is commanding the horses and giving <laughs> more detailed instructions than you can give with the reins, uh, you're able to just hook right and you, <coughs> it's a pretty wide turn and you guys are still moving in a good clip. Um, but as this tree comes down, um, you see this one is not connected to the same root system. Um, so this is just like a single tree that is just toppled um it doesn't look like any as you as you guys drive by, drive past the back end of it it doesn't look like there's any um nothing was chopped nothing it just looks like the tree got caught a strong breeze and fell over um except this tree is probably almost 100 years old and looked perfectly healthy and this thing just teetered over um, it's huge so you guys, uh, so you circumvent around that. You get back on. Do you want to get back on the road? Do you want off road? Uh, we'll probably off. get back. We on, we I think we should get we back on the road. Yeah, we to avoid right. hitting any trees. You, you don't have. Yeah. you have about two horsepower to work with. You guys could have been there. It was like a jacuzzi jet. 
<laughs> wow, gross. So as you guys keep you circle back onto the road and keep keep moving. Uh, so basically, Chris, all you missed is that uh, Ronan and Lythar were able to convince the horses to go around the ass end of the tree and snake their way uh, through and gun it forward. Um, so as you guys keep running, uh, the trees are getting a little sparser. We're starting to see some undergrowth. And actually, you're seeing uh, the road itself is changing. So there are more. Uh, there's a couple more wagon ruts and more signs of human traffic as you guys keep sprinting out of the woods. Uh, and as you keep going, as you keep going, um, you start to see there are f- there are a few other n- sounds of nature causing problems in the back and a couple louder creaks and groans from trees. But nothing follows you. Nothing comes out in front of you. Uh, and you guys just keep trucking. Uh, and eventually you start seeing, instead of trees on the side of the road, you start seeing collections of stumps where <laughs> humans and other, where people have been, where there's been civilization has come and decided to enforce its rule on whatever's around it. Perfect. So there's stumps, there's, there's very simple stone walls and fences and things like that. And you come out of the woods at a full, pretty much a full, steady gallop. Um, you break through the tree line and you see open fields, fields, wheat, barley, habitation. You see some like the barest outskirts of civilization on the outside of this. Excellent. The outside of this forest. <laughs> so we should like chillax a little bit. Yes. Chillaxing commence. Chillax. Uh, do you just want to keep moving or do you just like pull up like you just pull up the brakes and you're like we're out of the woods we're gonna stop i don't think we uh, need to stop i think we just need to slow down oh, the like, horse is okay steady... <laughs> yeah, how long were we actually running for uh you guys were hauling ass for probably 20 to 30 minutes like from your break uh you guys booked you guys had a good like half hour of panic we should probably well, let the horses rest then. The horses are coming off their adrenaline and they are a little exhausted. Uh, Lithar, unfortunately, your speak with animals is worn off. So the fact that they they just look exhausted. Um, and just every, everyone's a little tired from this from this yeah. hellmell sprint through the woods. Can so how I think I like think I should not draw like And what? Thrall, Thrall, how do you feel about <laughs> this this upstart elf telling you how to ride, how to drive your cart? <laughs> Basically, what about probably, stopping? About yeah, I kind of just like, like nudge you, like, "Hey, let's slow down." Um, I Punk think ass. we should ask everyone else if they would like to also slow down and catch See their breath from the back. Yo, yeah, I would like to slow down. <laughs> it's hard to drink mead when you're going so quickly. Josh has had the most interesting D and D game tonight. <laughs> it's hard to drink when you get highway speed. I understand. <laughs> he, he, he stood in a puddle. He ate a fish. He slapped a tree with a fish. <laughs> and now we're here. <laughs> and through that entire like panic situation, he's just holding on to his knee. They're my barrels. <laughs> he's got two quarter kegs or two half kegs, and he's like, "No, these are mine." Or quarter kegs, I'm sorry. Half kegs are way bigger. They were going to roll way like out. Big boys. <laughs> um, so I just, it just a big you guys, in the back. <laughs> you guys you just bring through the tree line. Um, and it all kind of... The, you feel... It's almost like you've been under... Like smothered in a blanket. And all of a sudden, you just, like the blanket is moved. And everything just feels much more open and relaxing than it was before like you can breathe a little more relaxed because you don't feel the, the pressure of the trees around you under pressure um, dum, 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 dum. And <laughs> oh, copyright strike actually <laughs> oh no this video doesn't even see the, see the light of the internet by who vanilla ice or uh-huh. uh oh both of them one. <laughs> then they can <laughs> sue each other first... over it <laughs> if we sing the first six notes no one will know no one will know no one will copyright strategies um but anyway so you guys you guys 
make this break and all you see are these very gentle very very slight rolling hills they don't even the only reason you can tell there's any difference in elevation is you can't fully see a house probably a half mile away because there's a hill between you and it with a whole shitload of weed on it you're you're in like rural farm country now um instead of being in the thick of these woods do we know where we are like do we have a map you um you will when i map one okay <laughs> well <laughs> but you, in so, in but, our pretend <laughs> map do we know how far away from the place we are you guys are about if you if you pushed it at a dead sprint after a break you could get to the city right around nightfall when the guards would close the gate or you guys can schlep out a little further and either find a farmstead find a nice place along the road to camp um if you if you push hard you can make it to corn four by nightfall let's do it let's go you want to push let's push okay like a, like what a, time is it push? now is this like an eight hour fucking sprint or is this no, like you, a you guys were sprinting for about 30 <sighs> minutes and covered a lot of ground um because Andrew you guys were willing, confirmed. because you guys were willing to risk your own limbs, life and limb for this for this misadventure. All I risked was a fish. Fish in your and meat. your mead. <laughs> and your meat. <laughs> so so you guys slow down for it. You you can you real you do the math and you realize you can afford to to slow down the horses for a little bit. Um and give them a chance to kinda kinda catch their breath. And there are some there's a slightly smaller version of the stream is running parallel to the road um, but it's, it's a much muddier um, it looks more like runoff than a fresh stream uh, but there are along the road uh, basically rain barrels that have been left along the road where uh... everyone's frozen for me and oh, you are also frozen you're for frozen yeah. Yeah, you're frozen on my end but frozen everybody else is good oh we'll move a little bit you had a very surprised look on your face (laughs) oh 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 oh, Oh, he's gone somewhere pants yep nice nice drawing up there it looks like doggies for the brand look at that guitar are we uh are we going past the house that we saw um you guys haven't quite made it there yet okay Um, but as you guys are going when you see the road that branches off basically that hit the driveway to the house he's back um there's a there's a water barrel um for horses to to take a drink at um it's basically their equivalent of like yo you guys are in the middle of fucking nowhere have some have some fucking free water and do whatever with it um so the horses like when the horses see the barrel they just don't respond to anything you guys say and they both walk over and just dunk their faces in this rain barrel slowly chugging Right. I'm gonna dunk my face in a cup of mead. Can I go up to the house and see if anyone's home? A cup home? of mead. Oh, we oh. lost Kendrick. Oh, yeah, we did. While he's dead, can I go up to the house and I see if anyone's home? Um. So the the driveway is probably a quarter mile long. Oh, then it is not. It is not next to the road. Too far. It's, yeah, you're in like. If you want a real world, real world. It was my old house. <laughs> You guys are basically in Kansas. Yeah, we're uh, in Kansas. Yeah, that's actually a, an excellent descriptor of how far back this house is. Okay. Uh, 3,175 feet. Yeah, pretty much. Um, oh, he's, fucking he's gone. Back there. That's okay. Oh. Wow, he got a lot more blocky. <laughs> Look at those two cubes dancing. I just see yeah. it. Oh. oh. So, so the the far it's being recorded. He can watch the house is because it's because it's <laughs> flat. Um. So, the horses just dunk their faces in and get a get a good solid drink. Um, Renan, are you still in the back of the wagon? Um, I'm gonna get in the wagon. Okay. And I'm gonna so snuggle gonna... up next to Lami and be like, "Got an extra cup?" I do. May I have some of your the cheaper variety? I've only got one barrel open and I don't know which one's which. Alright. Get me up there, friend. 
pulled out my cup. All right. Um, Do I have to roll a Constitution saving throw. And no, Lonnie, <coughs> though, because he's had a bit to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie, give me a con save, please. Nick. Here we go. <laughs> Good. Not you bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Con saves. I don't want to hear it. So that's a fifteen. Yeah, you're fine. You're. The dragon's just putting it back like it doesn't. Matter. <laughs> it's a dragonborn, and it doesn't fucking matter for a dragonborn. Um, it burns up the alcohol before it gets to his stomach. <laughs> oh, that would be so sad. Um, you know, what a sad existence. Taste. It just takes him a minute, um, just because he's <laughs> very dense. No heartburn. The dense yeah. boy. Look at that upside. Um, so as you guys are like the horses are kind of stopped, and everyone's like taking a breather. This is basically like you're you're stopping at a rest stop on a long road trip and everybody hops out of the car and walks around and stretches. You do a Chinese fire drill, kind of rearrange everything. Um, Alami or Lithar look, is kind of looking back at the woods, keeping an eye on, on what's around him. Um, and out in the distance you see... Uh, holy shit, <laughs> that timing would be fortuitous if you came back. Hey. Oh. Hey, I can hear everybody now. Sorry, I don't know what just happened. You were like, everyone froze and your voice was just like, I'll get like, bah, bah. and I was like, yep, don't know what's happening. Okay. How far away is the forest now? Like, how far away did we get? You guys, you guys are probably, you can still see the forest. Um, you're probably a quarter mile distance so like you're you're a okay. quarter mile from the house and you're a quarter mile distance i just wanted to know if i was more than 120 feet from the forest yes you are outside okay. of javelin range <laughs> um, <laughs> so what as, i meant um basically like you guys just like found a um you're following down this main road and you're basically in this version of kansas where it's just a lot of very gentle rolling hills um you can see pretty far just because of everything being very very flat um, changes in elevation are like ten feet at most. Um, <clears throat> so, but as as you're so Lithar, you're you're taking a peek back at the forest, um, and you see a bugbear, a tree that's taller than the rest of them, standing completely unmoving against the wind. You see all the other trees swaying in the breeze. This is standing perfectly still. Oh shit. And, and how it, far away is it? You're like a quarter mile away. So this thing is like, if it was a person, think of it as a person standing head and shoulders above everyone else in the room. And ev and everyone who who looks over at this thing feels like it's you. You feel like it's got pressure. Like you feel something watching you. You look and you just see. It's basically the equivalent of Ronan walking into a room and staring at somebody angrily across the room of a bar. It's that, except this thing is probably 60 feet tall. Uh, it's okay. mad. It's mad. Like, yeah, the, mad. the general, like, every, it, it does not take an elf's intuition and understanding of nature to realize that there's a pissed off tree back there somewhere. <laughs> Well, that's not good. That's Oops. Not good. I may have pissed off a tree. Is it just oh, like hanging it out? Was, it was it's crazy. not like it coming real. near it's, us more? It's it's just kind of, it's for right now, it's completely still. Leaves are still, branches are still, this thing is not moving. Um, Am I, are we like hanging out here or are we going a little further away and then camping? Or no, we're just going. We're just leaving. Yeah, we're so oh, let's I'm go. I hop in the wagon, I'm drinking with uh, my dragon pal. <laughs> dragon pals, dragon pals. Oh, and then uh, we're just gonna we're just <laughs> gonna fucking leave. Gonna get fucking yes, meet me and Tiny are gonna have a drink. Okay. Um yeah, Lithar, are you you feel that there is definitely those woods are not gonna be safe for for anybody for a while. Right. You, yeah, you might have put the tree back, but something, something's mad, and old, old forests like that will tend to hold a grudge. So keep note of that. For good thing I shot him in the eye, right? <laughs> <laughs> you definitely won't remember that. Uh, they can only see what half your face look like. Mm -hmm. uh, so as you guys, your horses kind of take 
get their get their breath back. Um, and you set off, and you it's a it's a quick it's a quick canter, but you're able to just chew through the the through the miles to get close to Corumvor. And as you get, Sorry, it was you get closer and closer and closer, and you start seeing more and more farmsteads. Nature has been clear cut, uh, and there are no no trees. Good, and I was getting nice. tired of trees. I was waiting for you to fucking dragon breath the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. Um, I really wanted you to. All of the, all the fences, all the walls are made of stone. Fences are made of metal. There is very little wood anywhere near, know. Yeah, especially in the outlying houses. Um, as you get closer, the houses start getting closer and closer together. You start seeing um, smaller settlements almost that are about the size of Long Peak or Long Pike. Um, but they're okay. still. Yeah, you roll those dice. What she roll? What she roll on the D ten? She's bepping them, man. She doesn't care. She just keeps bepping. What's the what's the what's the number on that D ten? The cat has spoken. She got a nine. Okay. Uh. That nine will we'll use that nine later. <laughs> uh, Good job, Cleo. Uh, so number as nine. you guys are um you're getting closer and closer. Dude, she rolled yeah, a six smaller, on a D six. Look at her. She's a all star. Smaller settlements, bigger than long pike where you guys were initially um you're basically in the suburbs of corimbor as you start schlepping your way in towards towards the city walls i'm gonna um, i'm gonna be looking out the back of the wagon and i'm gonna be just like tossing my magical javelin out the back into the ground and then booping my <laughs> thing and catching it and throwing it again just <laughs> playing catch with myself off the back of the wagon with a okay. javelin um <laughs> people are a little winged out by the fact that one, there's a Goliath in the cart sitting next to a dragon. <laughs> next to a gnome. <laughs> next to it. So, like, there's a gnome kind of parked in between. Like, in my head, I'm picturing the gnome is sitting on top of the unopened keg. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just sitting there. And he's the gnome is explaining the intricacies of artificery and how all of this works. And the Goliath's just like, ha ha ha. Yay! He's just playing catch. He's, <laughs> he's finally playing catch with his dad like he always wanted to. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sad. Um, and he's just, he's excited. He's happy. He's just having a great time. And the gnome's like, yeah, but if you understand, like, the implications of it, and this is how, this is how it works. And the guy's like, I don't care. I'm just playing catch. Uh, and, event, and Ronan, you kind of figure out the tr the knack to not actually having to like hit your to thump yourself in the chest in case you just can't flex my peck it. and it just comes just back like, you just you're doing it automatically yeah. it's reflex <laughs> now you're, you've got it down to a science <laughs> um, so as you guys get closer you start seeing more and more foot traffic people are working their way in towards the city are um, they walking their way downtown no <laughs> Um, Pace is passing down, man. You guys are actually approaching from, uh, from the west, I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe that's west. West. So yeah, you guys are you're, you're on the western road into Cornwall, um, and as you start approaching, you have to slow down because traffic is there's a lot more just foot cart traffic. Um, as you get closer, some of the bigger settlements people are uh, coming in from a day's of, from a day's harvest from doing. Arids out in the um, the surrounding area areas, you're seeing farriers. You're seeing uh, small blacksmiths with little portable forges that are all just making their way back into the city uh, as the sun continues to set. How like dark is it now? What time um, would we reckon? It it's is? probably like four thirty, five o'clock. Okay. Um, will we make are, it before it's like everybody's closed? You, you guys will make it at nightfall. Um, you'll make it, it you, judging on your math, like you're part of the traffic flow. You guys will make it into the city for nightfall. Um, and so you eventually queue up in this pretty, pretty hefty line of other carts and carriages waiting to wait, waiting to get into the city. Um, who here has the letters from Lady Cost and the mayor? I, don't, I, don't, I think I might have. I think he does. I think you do. 
I don't have them. I know that. Someone Someone should have noted that well, wait, no, no, sure. I bet, no. I bet Kendrick. You has guys them. made me. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, because were Josh like, oh, went into the oh, bar, and I was talking smack Kendrick with the gnome. Read. And yeah, Kendrick have, can read. Had somebody caught that. Right, Kendrick can read. Yeah, everyone was like, <laughs> "The right. elf can read." Give them to him. Also, I got polar bears on my pants. Ooh, brag about it. I don't have pants. Ah, that's why you don't stand up. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm streamers and YouTubers don't have legs. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure Curtis is standing. Mm -hmm. oh. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, he's got a fancy Ooh, you Ooh. got one of them. Ooh. I want one of those. Let's go What's lower. What's down there? Go lower. Go lower. <laughs> 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 anyway. Hello. Oh, it's still going down. <laughs> <laughs> As Curtis slurs do. <laughs> Ask me about my wiener. Hello. <laughs> Perfectly in front of your face. I am wearing pants. Sorry to spoil the illusion of YouTubers. Oh, sad. <laughs> um, well, we don't see so, your legs. We just see like your hips and your wiener ish area. Correct. I've but actually still don't know if you have horrible legs. accident. Um, yeah. That's why I'm no longer in marching band. Is because of a horrible accident. We're actually just standing on ski poles, just shoved in the nubs. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, super uncomfortable. Right. What? <laughs> I don't like where this bit is going. <laughs> uh, anyway, so as as you guys pull up, and there's basically there's a guard. Um, there's a uh, clearly the 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 captain of this this squad, and he's going through and he's checking letters, and there's a couple people that he clearly knows, and he's like, "Oh yeah, go go on in." He waves a couple people through, and he's like. And you see the cart in front of you. He's like, "Oi, ah! you got papers?" The guy's like, "Oh, what, what do you mean papers?" He's like, "You need, you need papers to get in. You need, I need to know what you're here for. What, what you got in the wagon?" And the guy's like, oh, I, I, "I, I, I, don't have any papers, sir." And he's like, "All right, pull over there. We'll, we'll, we need someone to go through all your, go through your bags and make sure you're not bringing in any contraband, eh?" And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check on you in a minute. All right, next. He waves you guys forward. We'll pull up the wagon. He goes, he looks at this motley assessment. Assess <laughs> motley assortment of people. Basically like the Scooby-Doo gang just rolled up in the mystery machine. He's like, what up? We have mysteries to solve. What up? Because you have half-orc driving, an elf in the front seat with the half-orc, <laughs> Uh, actually, Ronan and Lamy, give me Constitution saves, please. Uh oh. This is just to see uh, how drunk you are in the back. Hey, seventeen, baby. Great. <laughs> I rolled a nat one. <laughs> I'm like oh, vomiting no. on myself. He's still there. <laughs> So he looks. <laughs> the the metaphorical camera pans across this this collection. You've got a half orc sitting in the front seat, just hanging out, well armed and armored. He's drive. He's clearly the guy driving the wagon. And sitting next to him is a wood elf. Just kind of you. Uh, two exhausted horses. Uh, and in the back seat, you have a gnome sitting next to an automaton sitting like just this metal man sitting in the back with like his sword and shield and just like polite as you please uh gnome is sitting on a barrel in between a perfectly normal like kind of just checking stuff out kind of dragon and an absolutely <laughs> shit faced goliath <laughs> And the Goliath is like leaning up against the side of the wagon. And he's almost passed out. But he's just conscious enough to be mumbling and giant. <laughs> he's rabid. <laughs> Am I sober enough to snap out of it for like a second and just yell, TREES! And then just like go back to like drooling on myself? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 uh, the trees. Oh, the trees are coming. Uh, the trees. I tackled a tree once. Did I tell you? And I tackled a tree. <laughs> and he's, he's mumbling in and out. He's giant. He's a giant. He's a common. He's just rumbling. And so the guardsman just kind of looks around. He's like, "Oh, what's this?" Then he like stands up on his feet and he goes, 
What do you got a metal dwarf in the back? <laughs> what? What are you playing at? What are you? What? Say your business. <laughs> what the hell you want? I'm gonna wave at him. You want to give him a <laughs> give him a wave? So I guess I have the I have the first. So I I stand up and I just I pull him out of my what? pocket backpack, whatever my yeah, crotch. You have like a you have a, a travel sack. Yeah, and I just say, yeah, pull right out of that and, back. and I just, just some like lady cost sends us, and I just kind of hand them to him. That's all I say. Amazing. Lady cost is it? All right. Oh, he pulls out, pulls out like a switchblade, and does like he doesn't pull. He doesn't. He pulls out a switchblade and like pops it open, and it's with enough. There's enough like flash to it that he's practiced it. But it looks casual. It looks like something he does every day. So he just like flips out a switchblade, like digs under the seal, pops the seal off, pops the seal floater, and he looks and he goes, Dwarf infected. He needs healing. Well, this gets you into the temple, but this doesn't this doesn't get you behind the wall. Do you have you got any got anything else? We do have two letters. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, oh, we, have, we have another letter? Yeah. yeah, we have two letters. One was for the girl, uh, one was oh. for the king. I gave him the king letter? I didn't even specifically choose that. I just said I'd give him the letter. You had a 50 uh, 50 shot and you rolled. You, I rolled and you did it poorly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So we should reseal that before we get to the so, king. Um, yeah, I'm like, let, let me see that one. <laughs> <laughs> slobbery yeah. him. So give him the other letter. Sorry, this is what I meant to give you. So he takes the letter, and because that's not how envelopes work, you know, have an unsealed letter that's kind of sticky. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, because it's wax. He's like, <laughs> oh, oh, uh, boy, there's a lot of you. Yeah, but you're all here, and you no know, men. And, and, uh, Utimaton. Oh, that's a lot of syllables. Uh, is he dead? He, point, he points vaguely in the direction of uh, Ronan and the dwarf. Uh, I'm going to so shrug like... at, at both and say, we're really not sure, mate. Oh. <laughs> He points at he points at Lonnie and goes, All right. So here's the thing. We don't like public drunkenness in this town. And unfortunately, your fuck. Your big your bigger friend is a is a little out of sorts. Um Can someone I'm, heal I'm me? You, I'm gonna let you in cause of cause of this. But uh I'm gonna need I'm gonna need your word and the rest of you as well, but mostly the big guy in the back with the scales. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to let me know that you can keep him in line if he starts causing trouble. I, I'll, time, I'll take care of him. All right, and then better not burn the town down while you're at it. <laughs> Folds up the letter, hands it back to back to Lara. Hopefully, you didn't hear about the long bike in. <laughs> like, all right, y'all are all of you can can head on in. Good luck finding it. It's a little crowded, but uh, I'm sure you. I'm sure you'll find something. All right. Good luck. He waves, and the, the large doors swing open to let let the rest of you in. Um, <laughs> as the doors work, yeah, yeah, pretty much. So like he waves, and the doors like creak open a little more. There's a tree. <laughs> and as you guys are are, these doors are made of wood. These are the fruit like. These are the largest pieces of wood that you guys have seen since you left the forest. Mm. Um, And as you guys walk in and you hear the, you hear the hinges kind of shut behind you. You hear the captain go, all right, that's last wagon. Rest of you will be in tomorrow. Pull over here. If you want to wait in line for the morning queue, as the doors are closing, you hear not just the creak of hinges, but you he- you hear something reminiscent of that bending, creaking shriek. 
that you heard uh -oh. from the woods. Uh oh. And that's where uh -oh. we'll stop for tonight because it's oh, 11 no. 15. Oh, oh boy. No. Rip. We heard da, that da, da. outside of the. As the doors were closing, you couldn't tell if it was the doors themselves or from outside the doors, but you hear that PTSD. Those PTSD motherfuckers gonna die. Sound. And yeah. Oh no. And that and that concludes our episode of six white dudes talking. <laughs> about dungeons. Play Dungeons and Dragons. Six white dudes with dice. Yeah, we need a girl. Kendra, can you wear makeup? <laughs> He kind of seen it. So, so here's, here's the problem. That was sad. Uh, 